Skyslope Forms allows you to import MLS data into your files to limit dual entry and ensure that data is accurate. You can import MLS data when you are creating your file or when you are adding forms to your file. Let's take a look at importing MLS data when you create a file. When you're working with a buyer and you're ready to make an offer on a certain property, you'll want to import MLS data when you first create your Skyslope Forms file. You will enter your client's information and then click on Import MLS Data. In the MLS search window, you can type or paste your MLS number and then you will see a list of matching MLS results. You can scroll down the list and locate the correct listing. In the search result, you can see the listing details such as the address, listing agent's name, list price, and a photo of the property to ensure you're selecting the right listing. Click on the listing to select it and then click Import. We can see here that the MLS data was imported successfully and that the address has been autofilled. Now that all of the necessary information has been filled out, click on Create to create the file. Now you'll be taken to the Add Forms page where you can select and add forms to your file. If we add a purchase contract to this file, we can open it and see that the property information has already been imported onto our forms. Here on page two, you can see that the buyer and property information have been imported successfully. Now, when you first create your buyer file, you may not have a property address yet. In this example, I'm creating a file for my buyer, but since my client hasn't found a property to make an offer on yet, I'm going to skip entering the address or using the MLS import. I'm just going to name the file after my client and go ahead and click on create. So now a few days have gone by, your client has already signed the buyer broker agreement and now they're ready to make an offer on a property. You will open your forms file and click on the add forms button. On the add forms page, you will search for the purchase contract, then click on the add button to add that form to your file and click next. Now we can open the purchase contract and import MLS data for the property. In the upper right hand corner, click on import MLS data. Again, in the MLS search bar, you'll enter the MLS number, select the correct search result, and click on Import. In the next pop-up window, you'll be given two options, to replace all data on the form with imported MLS data, or to only import MLS data to blank fields on the form. Most commonly, and in our example, we will select Yes, replace all existing data, because we haven't entered any data onto this form yet. If you had already entered data onto the form that you didn't want to be overwritten, you would select No. And again, we can see that our MLS data was imported successfully. On page two of the purchase contract, we can see that the property address was auto-filled from the MLS data. And if we jump to page 11 of the contract, we can see that all of the seller's agent information has been imported as well. Using the MLS import doesn't only import data onto your forms, it imports data into your actual file. You can always access these file details and MLS data will be auto-filled onto any forms you add into your file after you complete the initial import. Using the forms MLS import is the quickest way to fill out your forms and get an accepted offer. If you have any questions about using the MLS import, just reach out to our support team. We're here 24-7 and always happy to help. Happy skysloping!